hey loves welcome back again to my channel today i'll be teaching you my vanilla swiss roll recipe it is the easiest most delicious mouth-watering fluffy and airy swiss roll recipe i have ever tasted yet trust me it's a must try if you like to see then keep on watching Our ingredients have been pre-measured. We need three large eggs, 200 grams without the shell. We need 40 grams of old milk, 30 grams of vegetable oil. We also need 150 grams of sugar. You can use half cup plus one over eight cup. And we need one cup of cake flour. If you don't know how to make your cake flour, just measure one cup, take out one tablespoon of the flour and replace it with one tablespoon of corn flour. We also need one teaspoon baking powder, half teaspoon salt and one teaspoon vanilla flavor. The first thing we're going to do is to separate our egg whites from the egg yolks, okay? And you want to do this carefully. Please make sure that your eggs are fresh like mine. <laughs> I also have another bowl here that I'll be putting the yolks inside. And you want to make sure that the yolk doesn't get into the egg white. So make sure that you pick out the yolks carefully. My hands are washed and they're super clean. So why not? So this is the last one. I'm just going to take it out. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're still watching up to this point, please like and subscribe. Thank you. So now we're going to add the egg whites into the bowl. If you want to use your stand mixer, you can use it, but I'll be using my hand mixer. So put on your mixer and gradually take it to the highest. Once the mixture starts to form, the egg whites, I mean, start to add in your sugar gradually. You want to add in your sugar and whisk for some time or whip it up for some time and then add in another batch of the sugar you want to continue repeating this so whip it up a little more adding sugar you can take maybe some seconds say about 10 to 20 seconds before adding in your sugar so you just want to continue doing this until you've exhausted all the sugar in your bowl so now we want to continue whipping this for about three to four minutes depending on how powerful your mixer is and if you're using stand mixer you know it might be shorter than that but i'll show you what we are going for we are going to whip it up into a meringue but i'll show you the consistency we're going for it's kind of like a firm but soft peak consistency so we're going to whip this up continuously we're almost there so i'll show you in stages so that you would understand clearly what i'm talking about i decided to stop the mixer to show you this consistency this is not what we're looking for so we'll continue mixing this I stopped the mixer again to show you we're almost there you can see the mixture is thicker but we're not there yet just a few more seconds and we should get to the consistency i'm going for so just be patient okay easy does it <laughs> now this is the consistency we are going for look at that it is firm but it's soft peak you can see the peak so now we're going to mix the egg yolk you just want to break it up a little bit now add in your oil in no particular order actually mix it and add in your milk mix it for about a few seconds say about 10 to 20 seconds now grabbing your meringue and then pour in your egg yolk mixture you want to use your spatula to scrape down the sides to get everything inside and then use your hand whisk to gently whisk it together adding your flour in two batches or additions 
and gently fold it with your hand whisk you don't want to over mix because you're still going to add in your flour now add in your second batch of flour or last batch and fold it in again you just want to fold this mixture until you can't see the flour anymore but you're not over mixing please take note of the way i'm mixing this okay now i'm going to use my spatula to just scrape down the bowl and do the final mixing you need a rectangle pan this is 36 centimeter by 26 centimeter but you can also use a 14 by 10 inches um, rectangle pan i buttered it and i'm lining with my parchment paper now you go ahead and pour in your butter then you spread it try to make sure it's even you want to pay attention to the corners of the pan when you are done spreading and you are sure that you've tried your best to spread it evenly slam it on the table twice to take out the air bubbles and you bake this at 280 degrees for 15 minutes to 20 minutes the cake is out of the oven now i tested it with a skewer and it was dry i'll flip it now on my rectangle cake pan and now we're going to go ahead and trim this this is optional but for a better tasting cake and a neater job i would prefer to trim it so now i'm just going to flip it back again i flipped it and the cling film on the board peeled off the soft layer of that um of that cake so there's no need to trim that part so i'm just going to flip it back again after flipping it i'll raise up the cling film and start folding at this point the cake is still warm so it's it's going to be easy to fold this you want to fold this first so that you know the cake can take shape you know before you fill the cake so i'm just going to wrap it firmly be careful when you are doing this this cake is very tender so be careful when you are doing this wrap it and we're going to keep this you know just keep it maybe on your tabletop or in your fridge if you want it to cool faster now the cake has cooled perfectly i'll be using some whipped cream um, i have some toppings i have caramel sauce wrapping the cake after trimming helps to keep the cake flexible so now i'm going to just mix my whipped cream a little bit to make it a bit softer and i'm going to spread a thin layer i'm just going to apply that over the cake once i'm done i'm going to apply my strawberry sauce and my caramel filling or caramel sauce and i'll use my spatula to spread it just a little bit now it's time to fold you want to fold gently but firmly the cling film will help you to keep this in place once you're done rolling it wrap it firmly again and keep it in the fridge for about five to ten minutes now it's out of the fridge and it's firm it has set properly we're going to take out the cling film and i'll go ahead to cut off the sides this is for a clean finish you can see what it looks like i'll also flip it to the other side and cut off the other side so this is why i didn't cut out the sides when i first made it take a look at how clean this swiss roll looks so i'm spreading a thin layer of cream whipped cream frosting on the sides I'm just going to apply this carefully if you want to apply more cream you can go ahead and do that you can make different styles you know be creative please if you're still watching up to this point kindly give this video a thumbs up like this video drop a comment in the comment section let me know what you think about this recipe and if you'll be trying it out if you're new here please remember to subscribe and turn on your post notification the likes actually helps youtube push it to more audience thank you so i'll be using this silicone brush to just create a pattern on the cake i applied my strawberry sauce and i used the brush again to just make that pattern now i'm going in with my red coconut flakes if you don't have this you can also use your red velvet crumbs just apply it on top you get to see the other um, flavor i made and how i designed it very soon 
so i'm just going to pipe with my one m tip and i'll be using my cherry as my toppings for this particular design take a look at what this cake looks like before we go ahead to cut it i mean it is all shades of beauty <laughs> So now I just eyeballed it and I'm just going to cut this. This recipe gives me four rolls. Just take a look at this fluffy Swiss roll. I mean, look at that. I have my plates here or my packs where I'll be putting this. But then let's have a taste of it first. Drum rolls is the moment we've all been waiting for. Stay with me, just hold on a little bit, okay? Almost there. Yes! Oh my god. You can see how easy it was to cut that. There was no struggle, no force, or anything like that. I can't find the right words to describe this cake. Mm. Oh my goodness. It is so soft, it is fluffy, airy, it is delicious, mouth watering. It is a must try recipe. I made other flavors and I'll show you shortly. But first, let me pack the remaining because everyone is asking for this cake and I'm like, bring your money. <laughs> it ain't free. <laughs> okay, just take a look at this. Admire it, okay? Make this for yourself and your family, your loved ones. If you enjoyed watching this video, please remember to like this video it is very important look at this i made it with caramel sauce i mean this was dripping of caramel <laughs> yeah 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 take a look at this please if you enjoyed watching don't forget to like subscribe comment share this video please i really love to know what you think about this recipe in the comment section thank you for your support and i'll see you in my next video Stay happy and stay blessed. Love you. Bye.